Maine Coons are one of the oldest natural living cat breeds in America, well respected for being able to survive even the harshest winter climates of New England. Their natural resilience to many common cat health issues has gained them a reputation for being a very hardy cat breed to own. Maine Coons are a loving and sociable breed of cat. These wonderful creatures, like people, are susceptible to a variety of renal disorders. The kidney is a key organ in a cat's body, serving a variety of functions. For example, blood filtration, blood pressure management, hormone, and vitamin synthesis, and acid-base balance. As a result, it is the responsibility of every cat owner to look after the renal health of his or her cherished feline companion. In this section, we will go through some of the most prevalent renal problems in Maine Coon cats. Polycystic Kidney Disease, PKD. Polycystic Kidney Disease is also known as PKD, or Feline Polycystic Kidney Disease. It is a hereditary condition whereby multiple pockets of fluid, otherwise known as cysts grow in the kidney tissues of infected cats. These sacs of fluid will usually multiply, growing larger and larger over the years. Although the pace of cyst growth is usually slow, this is not always the case, so owners must therefore always be alert to visible symptoms that their cat is sick. Although PKD is more common in older cats, it can be difficult for owners to identify because cats tend not to show any signs of the disease until they reach 7 years old. At this point, a veterinary professional will be able to confirm via ultrasound of your main coon's kidneys, how severe the situation is. In the more severe cases, cyst growth may have begun to overwhelm a cat's kidney tissue, disrupting kidney functions. If this is the case, fatal kidney disease is a possibility. On the plus side though, some cats are luckier than others, because not all cats carrying the PKD disease will develop kidney failure. Polycystic kidney disease is caused by an autosomal dominant gene abnormality, whereby the kidneys do not develop correctly. This ultimately leads to multiple cysts forming in a cat's kidneys. Cats only need one parent to be infected with the defective gene, to inherit PKD. In fact, without DNA testing it may not even be evident that a breeding cat is carrying the defective gene at all. This is because they may only be a carrier of the gene, therefore showing no signs or symptoms of the genetic defect. The signs and symptoms of Maine Coon polycystic kidney disease are very similar to those present when a cat is suffering from chronic renal failure. Thus, depending upon the level of cyst growth in your Maine Coon cat, you can generally expect your feline friend to be suffering from our range of symptoms. Early signs of Maine Coon PKD include Poor quality coat, weight loss. Although these signs appear early, they also relate to a number of other medical conditions and the normal process of aging in cats. Thus, it is quite common for veterinary professionals to not immediately diagnose PKD as the root cause. Other signs of Maine Coon polycystic kidney disease, PKD, are as follows. Frequent urination. Increased thirst. Loss of appetite. Vomiting. Lethargy. PKD symptoms do not often show themselves until later on in a cat's life. If you are at all concerned that your cat may be suffering from Maine Coon polycystic kidney disease it is best that you take them to a veterinary professional, immediately. Tests can then be undertaken, to assess what is wrong with your cat. If in any doubt, request the vet test your Maine Coon for PKD, specifically. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Kidney stones. Kidney stones form in cats for a few different reasons. The different causes ultimately predict which type of nephro, kidney, plus lith, stone, is most likely to form. And the type of stone affects what treatments might help. Cats with small kidney stones really may have no signs at all. Kidney stones may show up on x-rays of the belly that are being taken for unrelated reasons, as a so-called incidental finding. Since kidney stones in cats don't seem painful, why should we worry about them? A kidney stone that allows normal urine flow out may be one that your vet watches closely, but ultimately leaves untreated. However, if the stone gets very large, or if little pieces break off and lodge in the ureter, the long narrow tube that connects each kidney to the urinary bladder, it likely becomes very painful. Kidney colic, signaled by abdominal pain, malaise, and even vomiting, may result. The kidney may swell and be damaged. If this should happen simultaneously to each kidney, and the blockage persists, your kitty will likely become critically ill from the disrupted flow of urine. If you think your cat's abdomen is painful, or his urinations change in any way, please contact your veterinarian right away. Urinary obstruction is a life-threatening emergency that must be treated. Most cats affected by stones are middle-aged or older. 
Metabolic kidney stones are much more common in cats than infection-based stones. Your veterinarian will determine treatment based on the kind of stone and what it's made of. The signs and symptoms of kidney stones could include Fever Abdominal discomfort Kidney pain Blood in the urine, hematuria Altered urine production, increased or decreased Lethargy Poor appetite Vomiting Weight loss A reason to treat kidney stones is bacterial urinary infections that recur or cannot be cleared. Veterinarians often struggle to determine whether the stone or the infection comes first, but sometimes eliminating a kidney stone is needed to help resolve the infection. Again, with some types of urinary stones, your veterinarian may want to treat conservatively, with a combination of antibiotics, diet, and plenty of fluids. Dissolving kidney stones completely often takes months, but any early reduction in size is great news. It's likely that your kitty with a kidney stone will not need more specific treatment to remove it. But it's good to be prepared and to understand what's involved if the situation changes. Medical efforts to dissolve feline kidney stones are usually safer than surgery, but won't work for most stones. Since most feline kidney stones won't dissolve, plans for treatment can be challenging for your cat's veterinary team. Skilled surgery is widely available to remove kidney stones, but does risk permanently damaging the affected kidney, even if the surgery goes smoothly. Special techniques to break up a stone are not usually recommended for cats because the stone fragments tend to lodge in their narrow ureters. Fortunately, veterinary specialists are continuing to find better treatments for cat kidney stones by applying advanced techniques, commonly used in people, to our feline friends. For some cats, specialists may recommend treatment with an endoscope. For emergency situations, when the ureters are blocked, they might recommend life-saving bypass techniques that reroute urine around the blocked ureters. It's always fair to ask your doctor if surgery is the only option, or if there might be a cutting-edge technology to try, instead of surgical cutting. Acute Renal Failure ARF. This type of renal failure occurs over a matter of a few days to a week. Cats of all ages are prone to this. Causes are renal infections, poisons, toxins, human medications, disinfectants, urinary blockage due to renal stones, and cardiac failure. Clinical manifestations are Frequent urination Vomiting and diarrhea Dry and dull skin coat Halitosis, bad breath, usual ammonia-like odor Ulcers in the mouth Drinking plenty of water General body weakness and depression A timely diagnosis can save the life of your cat. Remember, Acute renal failure can be reversed, if diagnosed timely. X-ray, ultrasonography, and other KFT, kidney function tests, can be performed to reach the exact cause. Four fluids, surgical removal of stones, if blockage reported, give plenty of water to your cat, introduce a kidney-friendly diet, low in minerals, and high in omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin D. Provide your cat a stress-free environment and stay in touch with your vet. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.